for a moment. Oh, 
we confess that we are dependent on God. In everything, in every circumstance, God is our only refuge. Without God, we have no existence. We have no life. We have nothing. This confession of utter dependence on God is blessedness. This confession of complete dependence on God is happiness. When we are fully dependent on God, God will care for us. God will fight for us. God will win the battles for us. Poverty, injustice, oppression, exploitation, marginalization. All these are human creations. But God will take revenge on those who push people to poverty, to hunger, exploitation and marginalization. God gives them the strength to withstand to protest and resist even in their injustice. God empowers them, equips, equips them to fight against persecution. God creates a people's movement and we part of such a people's movement of weak and powerless. The weak 
and the mass city go together. They come complement each other. It is about it is not being merciful is not about having the capacity to have pity on the poor, on the neglected, on the marginalized. It is not even having sympathy. But must be merciful is about having empathy. It is being able to give strength to the weak and the powerless, even in the midst of their own powerlessness and weakness. Even when we are weak, if we are able to give that inspiration to others, we can empower, equip, and make people stand up even in the midst of our helplessness and weakness. That is being merciful. Meek and merciful needs to be pure in heart. Psalm 24 verse 2 has a beautiful verse who will ascend the King of the Lord? And who is able to stand in His holy place? Who is able to stand in God's presence? The answer is also there. Simple answer, but very profound answer. Those who have a clean hands and a pure Capabilities, our potentials, our capabilities, our capacity, creatively and innovatively. When we inspire others, strengthen, equip, and empower others, when we do all these with a clean hand and a pure heart. That is where you see God. That is where you get the vision of God. That is where happiness in us. Be merciful and the pure in heart will bring peace. They lead us to a time of no war. We heard the Old Testament reading today. That was the reading of last Sunday. Isn't it? Most of the pastors must have preached on that text. Micah 4, 1 to 7. This text speaks about the ideology of war and the ideology of agriculture.
turning away from what ideology to become an agriculturalistic ideology. The weapons of war turning into the tools of agriculture. That is where you build communities that affirm life. Crucified. 
Yes. Yeah. 